Sure. Good morning, everyone. What an amazing energy in this room. So thank you all for being part of this and for giving us the opportunity to share a few comments with you. Um, I, think, I, think, I really think it's actually simpler than everyone makes it seem. I've never, ever met a member of Congress, House or Senate, that didn't want to make our country healthier, better, stronger for the future. That's the goal. And if we remember that goal, then we can figure out a way to get there. That's what this is about. We're, it's about being Americans, putting the country first, and doing what our military does every day, working together to get the job done. I know with this audience here today, you're going to all call your members of Congress and encourage them to join this group and to start solving the problems of the greatest nation in the world. So God bless you, and thanks for having us today. Congressman Hines. Good morning. I'm Congressman Jim Hines. I represent Connecticut's 4th Congressional District. This is, I think, one of the most diverse congressional districts in the country. I've got the towns of New Canaan, Darien, and Greenwich with their hedge fund managers and their corporate executives and whatnot. And I've got the town, the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is one of the poorest cities in the country and pretty much everyone in between. My district also sits four miles south of a town called Newtown, which unfortunately became a big part of the public imagination several weeks ago when the tragedy occurred there. One of the many things that happened to all of us, not just those of us who live close to Newtown, but to all of us in this country was in the face of unspeakable tragedy, we felt, maybe for the first time in a long time, the fact that we have a lot more in common than we have things separating us. All of the trivialities, all of the conceits, all of the day-to-day -day concerns that we have fall away in the face of such a powerful statement of how truly, how much we have in common. Now, we don't want that sort of thing to have to remind us of that bottom line fact. The truth is that all of the issues that we struggle with, whether it's Medicare or Social Security, the welfare of our grandparents' generation, whether it's how much we tax, how much we invest, how good our system of education is, all of those things at their core is the notion that we want, as Mike said, the same for the kids of Bridgeport as we do for the kids of Greenwich, that all of us understand that we have a stake in this together. And I want to thank you all for being here because the spirit of that sense, that there's an awful lot more that unites us than divides us, is what's going to make this Congress that we all serve in live up to the capability and the qualities of this great republic. Thank you very much. Congresswoman Hahn. Good morning, everyone. I'm Janice Hahn, and I was elected to Congress about a year and a half ago from California. I represent a district in Los Angeles. So my whole life, I'm a mother. I'm actually a grandmother. I've worked in the private sector. Uh, I have my teaching credential. I've worked in the public sector. My whole life, I've solved problems. So I thought I was uniquely qualified to come to Congress because we would be solving problems. Uh, lo and behold, uh, it was been a frustrating moving from one crisis to a next, which between you and me, these have been man-made, and I mean that, and the man. <laughs> and the moderator's gonna give her a pass on that one. These have been man-made crises, and if the worst problem in our country is the fact that Congress can't get along, then you know that is the worst place we can be. We have so many big problems in this country. No Labels has given me a great opportunity to get together with members of Congress, find out what we have more in common than the divide us. Thank you for your support. Your voice is going to be a loud voice in this country moving forward to convince all members of Congress that we need to lay down our political partisan bickering and do something for the country. Thank you. Congressman Ribble. Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Reed Ribble, and I represent Wisconsin's 8th Congressional District, which includes the cities of Appleton and Green Bay, Wisconsin. And, and I was asked to tell you why I decided to come this weekend, and it's pretty simple. I'm here because you're here. Uh, if there were 1,500 Americans who felt passionately enough about something that they were going to spend their own money to come from all over the United States and spend time here to figure out how they can uh, almost organically begin to change how Washington works. I wanted to be a part of it. Because 
two years ago, when I was first elected to Congress, I was not much different, and maybe not at all different, from most of you. And I could have seen myself being in this audience had I chosen not to run for Congress. And so I would encourage you, for those of you who are sitting and have a real strong interest, and you wouldn't be here if you didn't, to possibly consider someday running for Congress yourself and being one of the problem solvers and come and join us. Thank you for having us. Congressman Schrader. Thanks, Kiki. And thank, thank all of you for being here. I'm Congressman Kurt Schrader from the great state of Oregon. Uh, we have a long history of doing, I think, what New La No Labels is trying to do, which is work across the aisle, work in a bipartisan manner. We actually have health care exchanges in my state that both Republicans and Democrats support. We have educational stuff that's going on that Republicans and Democrats support. When I came to Congress not too many years ago, it was astonishing how little interaction there was between members. The void, and it's an absolute void in Congress, of an opportunity to talk to another member from a different party is hopefully now going to be filled with this No Labels group. I'm sitting next to two of my good friends here in Congress, two Republicans that tolerate my existence, which I appreciate kindly. Uh, but the forum to do this isn't there in Congress. No labels is the only opportunity, believe it or not, your congressmen and women have to sit down together and understand how each other thinks, what their districts are all about. Because it's not about myself talking to Reed or Scott and convincing them that I'm the smartest kid in the, in the room. It's about me sitting and listening to these guys, figuring out what drives their constituents and why they believe what they believe. And it's about, at the end of the day, solving problems. Uh, you don't have to give up your liberal or conservative or moderate credentials. The goal here is what all of you want us to do is solve the problem bipartisanly. And that's what we're all about. And I appreciate you being here and helping us. Thank you. Congressman Ridgell. Well, uh, good morning. I'm Scott Ridgell, and I have the privilege of serving and representing Virginia's 2nd Congressional District. It's a very special place. It's home to more men and women in uniform than any congressional district in the country. Raised by an Iwo Jima Marine, and uh, frankly, I never really thought that we'd find our country at this place. You know, each generation of Americans has a duty to pass on the blessings of liberty and freedom to the next. And We'll get through this, but at present, the course that we're on, we're not meeting that obligation to the next generation. So that's why I sought the office. I'm an entrepreneur, businessman who'd uh, never served in public office. And uh, I'm greatly encouraged by you being here today. Uh, we can get this done. You keep this pressure on. But we need to remember always that before we're Republicans and Democrats, we're Americans. Uh, we've got to meet the obligation to our kids and our grandkids and also those who are serving and our Gold Star families, those who have lost a loved one in service to our country. This gives us all a deep resolve to do what's right. Uh, again, it's a great encouragement to see you all here. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Peter Welch from Vermont. And you know, I think in our daily lives, we work with other people and we find that in getting to know those that we didn't think we liked, we end up seeing that they've got a lot of character, integrity, and we can learn from them. In Vermont, we had a, a terrible storm about a year ago, and people were wiped out. It was, it was Tropical Storm Irene. And everywhere I went as I traveled around, no matter what, people said, what can I do to help? And then when people who lost their homes would meet me, they'd say, don't worry about me. There's a single mom with a, two kids down the road. Go see her. And you know, that's how most Americans are. They want to help. They feel good at the end of the day if they've done something constructive. But Congress is not most of America. We are in an alternative reality. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to do for me is kind of the question. Uh, talking points are the dialogue. And that is what has to break down. We have to have what you're inspiring, and that is a desire. Once the election is over and the conflict of that is over, it's time for cooperation and progress. And we'd rather succeed than fight, and you are providing that absolute sense of urgency that has to be communicated to those of us in Congress to make that institution work on behalf of this country. Thank you. Congressman Dent. And thank you for allowing me to join you this morning. Thank you for coming out. I'm Charlie Dent. I represent the 15th District of Pennsylvania. Uh, 
Thank you. It's my wife. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> she's here. Uh, but seriously, my district includes Allentown and Bethlehem, Hamburg, to Hershey, the sweetest place on earth, right to Three Mile Island. Uh, so from the Delaware to the Susquehanna. But, you know, the reason I'm here is because, uh, you know, we have these young people seated behind us and in front of us in many cases, uh, and I want to make sure that they have a future of prosperity and opportunity, that the America that we're going to leave them is better than the one that we found. Uh, and what I'm convinced of, too, is the American people are not afraid of the answers or the solutions to these very big challenges this country faces. What they are afraid of is that their leaders may not have the, the capacity or the ability to find the answers, but they can deal with the answers and the problems. So that's what this is about. That's why I'm here, uh, because I want to make sure this country is a better place. And uh, one other thing, too, much of the public thinks that in Congress, you know, Republicans and Democrats sit in their, their own camps and warring factions, and rarely do they speak. But what the No Labels group, the problem solvers, are about is make sure that the, you understand that there are those of us who actually talk to each other. We've developed, developed relationships and are building trust. And that's really important if we're ever going to find the solutions to these great problems. Thank you very much. Congressman Cicilline. Good morning. Uh, my name is David Cicilline. I'm a congressman from Rhode Island from the 1st Congressional District. And um, I became part of this group because, like Janice, uh, I came to Washington with the expectation that I would be part of solving some of the big challenges facing our country. Uh, before I was elected to Congress, and I've only been there beginning my second term, I was mayor of the city of Providence. And mayors know this, you know, you don't have a Republican pothole or a Democratic school that's failing or you have challenges that you have to solve every day. We have big challenges in this country. And No Labels is really an opportunity to come together and understand that we have a responsibility to work together to solve these big problems and not to sort of push everyone to the middle. This group represents people on the far left, on the far right, and people in the middle who bring their passion and their ideas and their strong convictions, but also a willingness to work together to solve problems. It really doesn't exist in Congress. It's a broken place, and this is an opportunity really for us to work together to solve the big problems facing our country. It couldn't happen without all of you, so thank you for being here today. Thank you for supporting this work, and I know this is gonna make a real difference, and we're gonna build a government worthy of the people we serve. Thank you. And Congressman Lipinski. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. I'm Dan Lipinski. I represent a district in Illinois in the Chicago area. Thank you. I came to, uh, came to Congress. I have a background as an engineer. Engineering, if you Google it or Yahoo it or Bing it, whatever you want to do, engineering is problem solving. I came to Washington to solve problems. But unfortunately, as our problems have gotten bigger, Congress, it seems, has gotten smaller. Not smaller in size or smaller in ego, but smaller in the ability to get things done. We come to Washington and we're pulled in this direction or that direction. We gotta do this for, for our party or do this for this group or that group. What we need is for all of you to help us by reaching out to your representatives and telling them to join with us, join with no labels, tell your representatives to become a problem solver. That will give your representatives across the country the incentive to join us, to come together, because in the end, we have to work together for our country to solve these, these problems. It is only gonna happen, not just because you know, the 10 of us or 25 of us problem solvers get together, but because you, the American people, say we need to get these problems solved. We need you in Washington to solve them. So this is not just up to us. It's up to you. It's up to every single person in this room and in this country. So I thank you very much for your help.